Hi friends, today I'm going to be walking you through how to use the envelope distort tool in Adobe Illustrator. Um, but before we start this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. I'm going to start off by just creating a circle. I'm going to switch it so that the color is on the outside. And then I'm going to use the pen tool to create some waves in this circle. So kind of just click and drag. Then I'm going to hold Option Shift while I click and drag so that I can duplicate the line super easy. I'm going to select this whole shape. Then I'm going to go to Window, Pathfinder tool. And then this is my best friend. We're going to go down and click Divide and then Object Ungroup. And then as you can see, the parts of the circle separate which is super handy okay i'm just going to put this circle aside for now then i'm going to go to the text tool i'm going to type in what i want to use but first i'm going to switch the font to i love this one the super funky font okay then i'm going to type in what i want my design to say so once i have it typed out i'm going to go to type create outlines object ungroup so now it's all separated but then i am actually going to group the words together i'm going to bring my circle back over here so once you've done that we can kind of start dragging the words in their designated places and then you actually want to make sure that all your words are below the circle so you're going to select all your words and then go to object arrange send to back okay now i'm going to select the first word as well as the first shape make sure both of them are selected and then we're going to go to object envelope distort make the top object and you see it kind of fits the shape that you had in the circle then we're going to do the same thing for the next one make sure it's selected go to object envelope distort make the top object and for the last one object envelope distort make the top object and there you have it so now to make this a little bit more unique, I'm going to select the whole circle, go to object, expand, we're going to click OK. So now they're separated again. So once you have your whole circle, we're actually going to click unite on the pathfinder so it becomes one. I'm going to put her away for now and then use the eyedropper tool. You can either click it here or you can use I as the shortcut. We're gonna select our second brightest color. So that is perfect. And then we're going to Command C, Command B to send it to the back. Then we're gonna shrink it by holding Shift Option while we shrink. Then I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool again to select the dark color. And you can see it floating back here. And then make sure to do this to option drag the first design so that we do have it later on. We're gonna need it. Select both of your circles. Then we're gonna go to object, blend, blend option. And then here it's gonna say Normally smooth color is the default, but we're going to go to specified steps. And typically anything before 200 and 400, you should be okay. So I'm just going to put in 400 here and then click OK and then go back to object, back to blend and then click make. As you can see, it makes this kind of cool 3D effect. But when I drag this one that we saved from earlier on top, you can't really see the depth of it. So I'm going to go back to the eyedropper tool and then click this lighter color. And then there you have it. I'm just going to zoom in here to make sure everything is aligning. And then we can put our background color in. Okay, so I'm going to use the rectangle tool just to send this to the back and slap the pink on there so she looks so cool. Okay, thanks for watching. Make sure you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys wanna see more.